Good morning children. Today we will have a new lesson. The title of the lesson is Silk Road. Okay. This is uh, from your reader. Lesson number 8. Silk Road written by Nick Middleton. Okay. Let us uh, have some detail about the writer. Nick Middleton is a British physical geographer and supernumerary fellow at St. Ains College, Oxford. He specializes in uh, desertification. Nick Middleton was born in London, England. As a geographer, he has traveled to more than 50 countries. Uh, this detail is taken from internet through Wikipedia. Born 1960, London, United Kingdom, nationality English. So, author has traveled many a countries, around 50 countries. Okay. So, here in this lesson also, he makes a visit to uh, Mount Kailash okay and uh, the title is given as uh, Silk Road the title is given as Silk Road there is a reason behind it the narrator was traveling on the old Silk Road from Lhasa to Kashmir to reach uh, Manasarovar Lake that's why he has named it as Silk Road and uh, one should also know the historical importance of this road Silk Road connecting China India and some other countries that you can uh, have in the internet okay you can browse it about the historical importance of the road Silk Road Actually, it is uh, something connecting to the other countries and uh, the name has come because uh, the trade of silk, silk trade is done through this road. That's why silk is, okay, you know what silk is. So, silk road. Okay, and another uh, connotation is a difficult road also because it is uh, not an easy road. It is something difficult to travel or to drive through that okay uh, here Nick Middleton the Oxford professor as well as an adventure followed the most difficult terrain through that silk road to reach Mount Kailash he visited a Buddhist pilgrimage to complete the Kora going around the place that is Kora completing the Kora going around a place I mean uh, like we when we visit a temple, we go around uh, the temple, okay. And the uh, author also wanted to see Lake Manasarovar. Okay, this is just like a travelogue. Dear children, you will enjoy it. And uh, there are many such uh, uh, difficult words, vocabulary in this lesson. And uh, we'll go in detail with the lesson now. Okay, it's all about others visit to uh, Mount Kailash okay if flow uh, before we go through the text here are some expressions like ducking back maneuvers beloved swath carrying of rocks career down salt flats these are some of the expression used in the text and we will discuss about it okay a flawless half moon floated in a perfect blue sky on the morning we said our goodbyes extended banks of cloud like long french loops glowed pink as the sun emerged to splash the distant mountain tops with a rose tinted blush now that we were leaving rau lamo said she wanted to give me a farewell present one evening, I had told her through Daniel that I was uh, 
heading towards Mount Kailash to complete the Quora. And she had said that I ought to get some warmer clothes. After ducking back into her tent, she emerged carrying one of the long sleeved sheepskin coats that all the men wore. Satan sized me up as we clambered into his car. Oh, yes, he decided. Sorry, he declared Drogba, sir. Okay, children, the first paragraph tells us about uh, the uh, morning on which, uh, I mean, author, I mean, the narrator started his journey along with uh, his driver, Satan. Satan is a driver here. Okay, you can see his spelling, Satan. And uh, uh, the sky and the background, everything is explained in a very beautiful way. The flawless, without any mistake, flawless, half moon floated means the sky where uh, the moon is floating in a perfect blue sky on the morning. We said our goodbye, means early in the morning they started their journey. Extended banks of cloud like long French loaves, okay, loaves of bread like loaves. Glowed pink as the sun emerged, came out to splash the distant mountain tops with the rose tinted blush. The color of the sun is rose that time. Now that we were leaving Ravu, Lamo said, this place, Ravu, Lamo said she wanted to give a present. Yes, Lamo. Uh, she wanted to give a farewell present to author, I mean the narrator. And that was nothing but a sweater, I mean. A sheepskin coat. Okay. One evening I had told her through Daniel that I was uh, heading towards Mount Kailash to complete the Quora. Actually, he expressed his wish that uh, he would be visiting Mount Kailash to complete the Quora. Quora that means the pilgrimage. Okay. Uh, so she prepared uh, a warmer cloth for him. Okay. After ducking back, into her tent means entering her tent she emerged carrying one of the long sleeved okay it's a coat type thing i mean sheep skin coat uh, with a long sleeve generally people uh, used to wear uh, in cold region or area that all the men wore satan sized me up means looked at him and clambered clambered means cl entered into his car then he said, he declared, Drog Basar means uh, the narrator looks like uh, a shepherd. Okay, after wearing their coat, he looks like a shepherd. We took a shortcut to get off the Chang Tang. Satan knew a route that would take us northwest almost directly towards Mount Kailash. It involved crossing several fairly high mountain passes, means uh, passes means uh, road between two mountain is called passes. He said, but no problem, sir. He assured us if there is no, uh, what was the likelihood of what I asked, not knowing, sir, until we get there. Actually, the narrator, the professor, Nick Middleton. Uh, having got doubt that uh, there would be snow, but uh, Satan is ensuring that, that that he cannot predict it right now, so they have to face it, okay. And he knew a shortcut. Satan knew a route that would take them southwest from Ravu almost directly towards Mount Kailash. And they know they had to cross several high mountain passes, okay. From the gently rolling hills of Ravu, the shortcut took us across a vast open plain, means plain area, with nothing in uh, in them except a few gazelles. Gazelle is an American deer. Sorry, African or Asian deer. African or Asian deer is called gazelles. Okay. So they could see gazelles in the plain area that would look up from 
nibbling the arid pasture eating nibbling eating the grasses uh, pasture and frond before bounding away into the void and uh, on seeing people they would uh, jump away okay into the void place empty places further on where the plains became more stony than grassy a great herd of wild ass you know as donkeys came into view satan told us we were approaching them long before they appeared kyang they are called kyang okay this s are called kyang he said in tibetan language pointing towards a far off pall of dust covering pall here means covering of dust when we drew near i could see the herd galloping moving away galloping and mass means all together and mass all together wheeling and turning in right tight formation as if they were practicing maneuvers on some predetermined course okay the military exercise like uh, in military exercise is a skillful movement okay maneuver means you can write down maneuver you can write down a skillful movement like military people you may have seen military personnels they make a march fast okay that's an exercise military exercise very much uh, align eh? so that way this uh, kyang this uh, mountain as the wild as uh, moving in group and plumes of dust okay feathers of uh, dust plumes here actually actually feather feathers of dust billowed into the crisp surged billowed you can write down surged surged into the crisp clean air so very beautifully the narrator has used the language here uh, you can just visualize such a scenery so dear children we will continue with the text uh before we wind up for the day let us uh, make a review of what we have discussed so far so i told you earlier uh, nick middleton okay the, pro the oxford professor and an adventurer uh was uh, heading towards mount kailash okay through the silk road the historical importance is there through his silk road so that's something that is very difficult okay uh to drive through that place and uh, his intention is to reach mount kailash to make uh, a kora okay kora is a, a pilgrimage actually it's a pilgrimage and he also wanted to see lake manasarovar so he started his journey early in the morning and the background of that uh, geographical area is uh, well explained here and uh, he took his i mean driver satan and uh, lamo gifted him a sheep kin coat before he started his journey because uh, there could be ch uh, chilly atmosphere okay and uh, satan has a specialty that he knew a shortcut a route that could easily reach uh, mount kailash and at the same time the narrator was uh, doubtful about uh, the snow and they just cross i mean pass through the hills of ravu and there was a vast open plain nothing except uh, except a few gazelles gazelles african or asian deers okay they were all galloping and disappearing and the same way some wild ass came into view that are called kang okay what is kang 
the while as here is called cam while as is probably tibetan ss okay and they were their movement is compared to that maneuver like a military exercise maneuver okay there is a skillful movement and uh, while they pass through there uh, there appeared plumes of dust feathers of dust billowed billowed means surging into the crisp clean air okay children it uh, we will go through slowly uh, we have enough time and only a few lessons are left okay so we will continue with the text tomorrow and uh, have a nice day ahead thank you